Welcome to An Equal Playing Field. I'm your host, Rafael Ibarra, and today I will share with you another important moment in sports and civil rights. Everyone knows Jackie Robinson. Not everyone knows about his UCLA football teammates, who all went on to break barriers. Two of his teammates, Kenny Washington and Woody Strode, broke the NFL's color barrier in 1946. A year later, Jackie broke the color barrier in Major League Baseball. Everyone remembers Jackie, everyone honors Jackie, and on April 15th, every baseball player wears 42 at every ballpark across the country. Yet, in football, no one wears number 13, Kenny's number. In the 1920s, NFL football teams were integrated, but in 1933, African Americans were excluded. After World War II, the NFL owners decided to get into a lucrative market in Los Angeles. They selected the Cleveland Rams to make the move. Hallie Harding was the major voice for the LA black community in 1946. As a sports editor for the Tribune, Harding and the other writers decided that this would provide a perfect opportunity to desegregate pro football. Harding knew that the Rams wanted to play in the Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum, which was owned and built by the city, which had outlawed segregation in public facilities. So Harding and the other reporters met with the Coliseum Commission and the Rams organization. Harding pointed out that the Rams should not be allowed to play with a segregated team. The writers said that Kenny Washington, the UCLA superstar, should be the man to integrate the team. Moved by Harding's words, the commission agreed and the Rams had to comply with the new requirement to occupy the Coliseum. When the team signed Kenny Washington, he became the first African American to play in the NFL since 1933. The importance of Kenny Washington and the others cannot be understated. It's time to insert them into our historical memory of football and civil rights. Join me next week as I discuss the last NFL team to integrate. Subscribe to my podcast, An Equal Playing Field.